Hello everybody, welcome to this micro-learning session on Airflow Max. My name is Dr. Marcel Donnet. Airflow Max is used in the guided biofilm therapy and therefore it's important to understand how it is working. What we need first is to have a powder, a good powder, a good device in order to deliver this powder and then at the end the handpiece which is making the treatment. And today we will focus to know how this handpiece is working. How I mentioned, we need a powder. This powder is delivered to this handpiece. This delivery is done through compressed air, which is accelerating the powder and projecting the powder outside the nozzle. This powder is projected in the center of the nozzle. Then we are adding around this center a water sleeve. And this water sleeve is aimed to take over all the dust and to clean the surface in order to improve the effect of the powder on the surface we are working with the nozzle really close to the surface and therefore we need to improve the water behavior in order to get the best treatment outcome or the best user experience with this handpiece. So we have the water stream. On the max handpiece we have six holes where the water is coming out. These six holes ensure that the water is well surrounding the powder area in order to really trap all the dust. Now we have small holes. Thanks to these small holes we have the water which is accelerated and thanks to this acceleration we have a small dimension of laminar flow. This laminar flow ensures that we reduce the amount of splatter and makes that the contact between air and water is the best possible in order to create small droplets and to avoid some big splatter coming out. As a consequence, thanks to this exit, we have a treatment which enhances the visibility for the user and reduces the bigger splatter which makes it more comfortable. Then we have to look at the air, the air which is accelerating the powder. In fact, with a normal nozzle, we have a physical limit, meaning at the exit of the nozzle, the air cannot exceed the sound velocity. But after the nozzle exit, the air has some residual pressure and we have the expansion of this pressure increasing the velocity of the air. This effect is creating the bang. We have the bang effect. It's what's creating the noise of the nozzle. This physics happens now within the nozzle and we have a telescopic geometry which then controls the expansion of the air and allows the air to be faster than what happened with a normal nozzle. With this faster air we are able to accelerate the powders with a higher velocity so particles are more efficient and so we are able to increase the efficiency of the powder and in fact this efficiency increase is used in order to spray on a larger surface and this makes that then it becomes easier and faster to treat the surface. Secondly, when air is, ex is exiting a nozzle, we have some recoil force that we can feel in your hand. And now having this effect inside the nozzle, it means that we do not have any more this recoil force. So at the end, we have less noise, less recoil force, and it makes this nozzle more convenient. When I developed it at the beginning and I have given it to some user, they were telling to me, ah, I do not hear the noise. I do not have this impression of back force. So this handpiece should be not really efficient. But then using it, they have found that effectively without the noise, without this back force, it becomes really efficient. And therefore, this Airflow Max handpiece is a real major innovation in the air flowing. Thank you very much for listening and don't miss the next micro-learnings.